Hello everyone. Today, we, the, ten, the students of 10th grade, are gathered here to inform you on the World Blood Donor Day. World Blood Donor Day is observed on the 14th of June every year. It is celebrated to raise awareness in the need of safe blood and blood products, and to thank blood donors for their voluntary life-saving gifts of blood. Further, we have an interesting panel discussion to inform you on the World Blood Donor Day. As we know, Blood Donor Day is for the donation of blood. So, Tati, why should one donate blood? Is giving blood safe? And how do blood donations help? Every day, blood donors help patients of all ages, accident and burn victims, heart surgery and organ transplant patients, and those battling cancer. Medical researchers also need donated blood in order to develop and test new treatments for any medical conditions such as blood, blood clots, heart attack, stroke, and cancer, etc. Blood donations in India are conducted by several organizations and hospitals by organizing blood donation camps. In 2016, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare reported a donation of 10.9 million units against a requirement of 12, un 12 million units. Blood donors in India donate around 350 million liters of blood. Thank you, Kaki. Since giving blood is safe and it helps others, Aisha, who can donate blood? Can a person donate if he or she has a cold, flu, fever? Can I donate if I recently had a vaccination? Or what are the other situations or conditions that make a person ineligible to donate blood? People aged between 18 and 65 can donate blood. You cannot donate if you have cold, flu, sore throat, or any other infection. If you have recently had a tattoo or a body piercing, you cannot donate for six months from the date of procedure. If you have received the, visited the dentist for a minor procedure, you must wait 24 hours before donating. For major work, wait a month. You must not donate blood if you do not meet the minimum hemoglobin level for blood donation. You may donate blood after most vaccinations if you are feeling well. You may have to wait to donate for 2-3 to three weeks after being vaccinated for chickenpox, measles, mumps, rubella, smallpox or after receiving the oral polio vaccination. Now we know who all can and cannot donate blood. So Harshit, how much blood will be taken? Will I have enough? How often can I donate? And how long will it take to replenish the pint of blood I had donated? During a regular blood donation, you will give around 740 ml of whole blood. This is about 8% of the average adult's blood volume. Yes, the body contains 10 to 12 pints, which is 5 to 6 liters of blood. Your whole, your whole blood donation would be 1 pint or equivalent 450 to 500 milliliters. You must wait 112 days, to, days before donating again. Your body will replace the blood volume within 48 hours. It will take 4 to 8 weeks for your body to completely replace the red blood cells you donated. We've, so Ishan, what will a person get if he or she donates blood? And are there any precautions to be taken after the blood donation? Each person who donates blood completes a simple physical examination and blood test before giving blood, henceforth identifying adverse health effects if any in the donor. Contributing to the community, weight management reduces iron levels for those with hemochromatosis. Cardiovascular health is also maintained. If you are not well after your donation, please call someone to pick you up. Eat food that is high in protein content after the donation. Legumes are the excellent choices. You should also eat vegetables and be sure to drink plenty of water.
all these things will help the body to make more blood for you soon we've got to know about the precautions we need to take so aisha what are blood donation screening tests screening of all blood donations should be mandatory for hiv hepatitis b c and syphilis after blood is drawn it is tested for abo group blood type and rh type positive or negative as well as for any unexpected red blood cell antibodies that may cause problems for transfusion recipient blood is tested for hepatitis virus hiv syphilis etc so hashi is there any possible substitute for blood blood substitutes so far there is no real substitute for human body but researchers are working to develop a liquid that can carry oxygen and replace blood at least for a short time in certain situations i've heard a lot about rare blood types but i never knew what's so rare about them so ishan what does a rare blood type mean your blood type uh, your blood type is considered rare if you lack antigens that 99% of the people are positive for there are more than 600 other known antigens the presence or absence of which create rare blood types so taki what is apheresis what's the difference between cold blood donation and apheresis Apheresis is a procedure by which whole blood is drawn from a donor and separated into its different parts. Whole blood, uh, whole blood donations contain red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, and plasma. Apheresis allows specific components such as platelets to be collected from a donor, and the remaining blood is returned to the donor. Thank you all. This has been a wonderful session, and this has been an eye opener for us. And we have learned many new facts about the donation of blood and to promote the donation of blood to the needy, and to thank the amazing people who have donated their blood to those who needed it. Give blood and keep the world beating. <laughs>